of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. The Slayer form will be yours, made crueler, stronger, the prime incarnation of murder. It seems impossible to stand against your father. But you have fought this long against your nature. There might just be a way. Domination. Slaughter. Mountains of corpses. You standing atop them. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedience subject to his lash. of your glimmering birthright for you to abuse as you please. smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain, and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. for it. Yet, you are already mighty, and you would have been mightier still if you defied him and your urges. A fitting name, 
But have you become the Slayer? Or has the Slayer merely found a host too weak to evict it? I shouldn't need to say it, but be careful who you take as an ally. Especially when that ally's taken residence inside you. Voss stands at the ready. All that remains is to return to the Astral Prism and break Orpheus free. How we get in remains to be seen. <laughs> Gods, you've really done it now, haven't you? I need you to finish what we started. I need you to remember me, our mission, long enough for that. If you try anything else, I'll kill you. Understand? By the gone gods, it isn't the blood you've spilled or the lives you've snuffed out that horrify me most. It's the pride you take in it. As if you've done all 16 planes a great favor. When the absolute falls, I wager our alliance falls with it. Hells, is this really what you've become? The kind of monster I once vowed to slay? But don't bother answering. I already know. Drop that stone! You will want your hands free for what comes next. Boo knows many gods. You don't look like any of them. You have won Baal's bloody blessing. <laughs> now you think you will step out into the world and carve your name upon it. Minsk and I, we know better. We stood here a century ago and watched this same ceremony unfold. We stand here again to show you how it ends. With your bones rotting beneath your father's hall. Your name remembered by none. We have slain kings and gods, and one time a giant, but never before a friend. What about you? Huh? Will you protect the world from what he has become? I tried to save you from the Lord of Murder, and still you gave in. Damn you! I cannot turn my back! I will not! Goodbye, Balspawn. Harpers, to arms! Let's defend this city as we always have. Boo and Minsk promised to make it swift. Evil. Hello, my dear. It's no small thing to be our gods chosen. Whatever life you once claimed to lead, it only follows from now on. Well, Baal leads, you will be forced to go. You know this for yourself, of course. So, was there some other matter you needed to discuss? Honestly, I didn't know you had it in you. A dark destroyer in our midst. It's certainly one of the more unsightly shapeshiftings I've seen, but we can't all be blessed with the elegance of an Asimar transforming in the heavens, can we? Beggars can't be choosers. Such a powerful form should serve us well in the chaos to come. Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. <sighs> My fondest congratulations for your work in the temple. Well done, well done indeed. On this eve, Skeletus gazes upon perfection. You shall be a graven god, my demiurge. All you must do now is heed your father's advice when the time comes. Ah! 
I shall engrave that compliment on my heart. But you should rest, Master. You must be tired from all the sororicide. Your command is my wish. Your demand is my desire. Oh, you make a butler blush. <laughs> Ah, inquisit me. Uh, what do you wish to know of? Ah, my favorite subject of conversation. Mm. Your tedious sister believed she was ending you when she drilled the wee tadpole cavern in your head. You were merely reborn with a silver spoon in your brain. The first to be tadpoled. The first above all men. I hope you are taking advantage of the worm. It will lead you to rule. You and the urge are wedded now. One body, one mind. Of course, Master. <laughs> we will always need to sire more Balspawn. <laughs> Hopefully, the near slaughter of your partner taught them the wisdom of obeying your every command. This is what we fought for. Time to end this thing. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Karlak's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. In my name. 